I want to share something with you guys, right? I had something weighing on my heart recently. Vlog life. I'm still here waiting for my ride. I have no idea. I think this is it. Yes, this is it. Oh, I don't know. Oh, let me look. See you when we get there. Target and I use the the little wagon. Yes, honey, there's no shame in my game. I remember when I told them that I'm when I back up it goes bleep bleep bleep. A girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. I found an area in Target that has skinny cow ice cream. Now I like skinny cow chocolate, and skinny cow for those of you who don't know is a low fat. Product. Like, you know, for people who like sweets and they can't beat that sweet tooth, you can get skinny cow products. Like, they have great chocolate and stuff. But let me tell you, they have ice cream and I'm going crazy. Gosh. I gotta go because I gotta get me some skinny cow products. I was actually online, still sitting in my little, my little whip. And I had no energy. I was tired from doing everything. And I said to this nice guy, person at the cash register I was like y'all ain't got no coupons or nothing like I'm you know it's a lot of money she said oh you could do cartwheel I was like what's that she said it's an app I downloaded the app honey 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 and she's scanning stuff off and now what's your name Delisha Delisha's gonna tell me how much I saved with the cartwheel app but don't you know it don't take nothing but a discount to give me some energy I'm so excited. It's nice to save something, you know what I mean, guys? Will we be able to scan the barcode with the, um, from the car wheel? You have to add the coupon. You gotta add the stuff in there first. Tati, come here. Services, mm -hmm. and they'll give you back your money. Okay. No problem. So we Still didn't, work. we didn't, yeah, we, we are gonna get the discount, but after yeah. the fact, because yeah. I didn't know, so we're gonna yeah. scan the but items. And then yeah. Thank you for this. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. All right, guys. I'll let you guys know what I say when I do it. Okay. Yeah. What's your name? I'm really Reverend Dr. Valerie Andrews. Reverend Dr. Valerie Andrews. How long have you been minister? Ministering? Maybe over 20 years. Really? Yeah. Over 20 and what denomination is it? Uh, Non-denominational. Non-denominational. Right. Right. Well, your style is so different. Thank you. It's so unique and I'm sure that people stop you every day okay guys I am sitting here in this park area and I'm waiting for my car we've been waiting 45 minutes already but normally I would have been upset but I'm not upset because it's a beautiful day you know I've been sitting here watching kids watching pigeons watching all kinds of other little birds watching different types of people and I've just been enjoying my day. It was a little bit overcast just now and I thought it was gonna rain, but it's, as you can see, the sun is back out. So I'm just waiting for my car to come. And um, I'll talk to you guys when I get in the car. It's such a beautiful day today. Wherever your day finds you, I hope you're enjoying it. Four twenty-five. we were supposed to be picked up at 3.15. It was like an hour, but it was not bad because like I said, we were out there just enjoying the surroundings. It's a beautiful day. Could have taken a little longer if he wanted to. Only thing is that I felt myself starting to want to use the bathroom. <laughs> and that would have been a problem.
vlog life. Hey guys, it is, you know, nothing's impossible, 77. <laughs> and today I feel like saying straight out of Brooklyn because we're gonna do some Brooklyn stuff today. We are going to the Brooklyn Bridge Park and um, I'm pretty excited about it, you know. I mean, being in Brooklyn all these years, I can't believe I've never been there. I know I was invited there last, like two years ago. On one of the hottest days of the year, a few of my friends went and um, I'm kind of glad I didn't go that day because they told me it was crazy hot. But they have water stuff there, like sprinklers. They have so many nice things there. So um, today is really not like a hot, hot day, so. It's perfect to just go, and of course it's by the water, it's by the Brooklyn Bridge, and there's so many different things there, like such a beautiful scenic um, location. Uh, you can see the ferry, you can see the bridge, of course you can see Manhattan, the Manhattan skyline and stuff. One of the most significant things that I'm excited about today with this trip is the sunset. The sunset at the Brooklyn Bridge Park is like no other. I mean, it's almost like, it's sort of like Hawaii in Brooklyn. Absolutely beautiful. sitting here faithfully waiting for the sunset and um, I think I got I think I took up so much footage that I don't even think I need to videotape another day for the week because I did so much taping today these are the things these little things these are the things that mean so much to me you know it's the things that are not tangible the things that you can't really put your hands on Actually, it isn't, it isn't even things. It, it, they're, it, they're, these are the moments that mean so much to me. Doing something that I really enjoy doing. Taking in the beauty of God's creation. Sitting here having nothing but pleasant, beautiful thoughts. And wishing the best for each and every one of you. You know? If there's something troubling your heart today, you know, don't let it. Don't let it. You know, because... Whatever it is, it's gonna pass. I wanna share something with you guys, right? I had something weighing on my heart recently and I sat down in my room and from my window, because my mom has the best view in the house. My mother's view is majestic at night. She gets this airbrushed sky and she get, for me, I get to look at a wall and if I really look really good to the, you know, to, uh, from a certain angle, I get to see some, some, you know, the sky and and I'm grateful just for that, right? Anyway, I look from my window at that little sky that I can see and I started to think about it and I felt in my heart like God said, cast your cares upon me. You know, there's a scripture that says, cast your cares upon me for I care for you. And it goes on to say, 
I was about to say, for my yoke, for my burden is easy and my yoke is light. You know, and if someone was telling you, let me hold that heavy bag for you and just hold this little package that I have and let me carry that heavy bag that weighs about, you know, 50 pounds. Let me carry it for you and let's just say you got to go like 10, 15 miles and they're willing to take it all the way home for you. Wouldn't you rather give the person a bag than carry that heavy load? Well, that's how I felt like God was telling me, give me that load, give it to me. And just within that moment, I said, here, Lord, you take it. It's too heavy for me. And I just felt this weight lift off of me. And so I'm saying all of this to tell someone out there today, give it to God, whatever it is that's weighing you down. You probably can't do anything about it anyway. You know, because this particular thing that was troubling me is not within my control. It's not within my power. So there it is. It was heavy and it was not within my control. So, you know, you typically, if, you know, the serenity prayer says, God, give me the wisdom to understand, you know, the things that I can control and the difference between the two and da 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 da. I just want to say to someone out there, whatever is so heavy, whatever is weighing you down, whatever is troubling your spirit or troubling your heart maybe it's not even in your control maybe you can't even handle it maybe it is within your control but it's just too much for you give it to god and let him handle it and then when you give it to him you gotta leave it with him and not only leave it with him but you gotta believe that he'll take care of it and that's what i did and now trust me that old human nature came around and i tried to pick it up again and then I got this gentle reminder in my spirit, didn't you give it to me? So that's what I want to say to you guys as I sit out here in this beautiful, peaceful, just picturesque view that has just filled my soul with just more calm and more peace. I hope I catch the um the sunset if i do i'll share it with you guys and i love you guys all for free 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 toy. later you smacking your little mouth Tell you how to eat raisins at seven months. My diva cousin honey. Today is June 11th, and this is me and my cousin Winnie, and we're about to take a walk. It's really hot, guys, so forgive me for the sweat. Look at my diva cousin, guys.